you don't want this. See that pull? Let me get my dentures out. Quick story, I used to hide my grandmother's teeth all the time because you do not, you do not, holes, the holes were the sockets, the sockets, gums, heal, ah, yeah. Okay, talk, Michelle, talk. How to apply denture adhesive to your immediate dentures for the very first time. How do you do this? Well, as you see, oh, that's a cleaner. Hold on, that's a cleaner. As you see, these are the boxes that I've just saved. I've, I've been testing a lot of adhesives. I got some favorites I can tell you that maybe will help you. If you go back to my last two previous videos, I'll link them in the description or in my pin comment. One was how to take out your dentures for the first time, and the other one was how to clean your dentures for the first time. So now we're gonna go on to how to use adhesive for the very first time. Now, don't use denture adhesive until your dentist tells you that you can do it. You need to have all of your stitches, if you have stitches, or all of your holes, the holes where the sockets, the sockets, gums, heal. All this has to be healed. You do not want to get denture adhesive on any open wounds, sores, or anything like that because it will hurt. It'll hurt even more taking your dentures out. The first spot that you're going to be allowed to use denture adhesive is right here down the middle, right down through there on the top, the top palette, you see, right, right here, just right down through there. What adhesive should you use? Now, I've gone through a ton of adhesives so far. So far, I've gone through a lot of adhesive. First of all, get something you can afford. You've already spent mega dollars on your dentures and get something you can afford. This is from the Dollar Tree. I have a video, I just reviewed this. This is compared to Fix It and Original. So buy something you can afford. This is at the Dollar Tree for, what is it, $1.25 now? So much for the Dollar Tree. I would recommend any of these. But these two are the Secure, I really like these. This is the Secure with Aloe in it and the Secure with Advanced, no Aloe in it. I have Fix It in Ultra, Fix It in Advanced. I would stay away from the Polygrips because they don't hold well. I also have this Olivafax Gold. This is all natural. It's got an olive oil base, but you can only buy this on the internet and it's a little pricey. I know, I got a heck, I got a heck of a mess down here. Here is my denture, my top denture. We're not gonna put adhesive on the bottom yet because you probably still have sores and we're gonna put it right down that center. Now, when I was a little girl, I used to watch my grandmother. She always did it with a Q-tip. 50 years ago, my grandmother was applying denture adhesive with, with a wet Q-tip, or sometimes you can use a toothpick, either or. Or just use your finger. I have found that, let's see, we'll put this one on there. It, well, let's do a fix it in. We're gonna do the fix it in just this regular one because you could probably go to your drugstore and they might have buy one get one half off the only thing is is this is pink and it has red dye in it and if you're allergic to red dye i would go one of these two these are not red they these are a white and these hold really really well i i've not had any really complaints i've never had any complaints on this from anybody what you want to do just a tiny, tiny little bit. I'm talking tiny little bit. See that? See, oop, can you see that? Because you do not want this to get down in the troughs of your dentures yet. So you're gonna take your pinky or your middle finger, whatever finger you want, and you're just gonna kind of just pat it down through there. I, I found, there. Just pat it. Like I said, you can use a wet, wet q-tip my grandma my grandma did this i thought how cool is that my grandma's probably rolling over in her grave right now quick story i used to hide my grandmother's teeth all the time my grandma's up there laughing at me right now karma karma i have karma happening wet q-tip toothpick finger and just place it in there that's it that's all for now that you're gonna do because you're probably still gonna have sore spots. And I think that I started doing this about two weeks after my full mouth extraction. 
just down the center and make sure it doesn't go anywhere else because it'll it, it'll be bad. You don't want that happening. You don't want sticky adhesive. I could sh let me show you what this secure. This is the secure aloe. You don't want see there's you don't want this. See that pull? You, you don't want that happening to your gums. You're not gonna use this much either, by the way. This is just an example. I'm going to link the other two videos or I'll be putting them at the end. Maybe I'll put them at the end. Description and pin comment if you wanna go back and watch how to take your dentures out and how to clean your dentures. All right, welcome to the denture journey. It's not really that bad. It really isn't. You just have to get over a few hurdles and give yourself one year, one year, give yourself one year to figure this out and you'll, you'll get it. Just give yourself one year. All right. I'll see you in my next, my next year, my next year video. Bye.